and I'm super excited for the welcome tax. Are you familiar with the welcome tax? I don't know if this is even Montreal or Quebec specific, but after you move in, the fucking provincial government just says, no, just a little little more. Why? For what? what? For what? Allow us to wet our beaks. But welcome, so, so welcome. Many It'd be a shame dimes. if a bunch of construction started. <laughs> Who likes potholes? We don't like potholes. No one likes po- a little pothole appeared right in front of your doorstep. Spe- what are we gonna do about this? Speaking of pot, fuck this city. Oh for yeah, having a three mile line. I walked by that line. I was hilarious. about to say, Matt, are you sure this is the direction you want to go with this I one? I just said. Fuck that line at that place. Okay. All no, right. So, yeah, I, I also walked by that line. I happened to be walking downtown and saw it. And boy, so there's more than the one place, right? There's four places there's in, in the city. There's only one, really. Okay, context, everybody. Weed is legal uh, yeah, in Canada. Yeah, we live in Canada where we can smoke the reefer every day with no fear from the police. But there's all kinds of, like, things that say you can't just smoke it every day. No one cares. There's all kinds. Yeah. No one like, cares. Like, there's, there's stipulations and... and, and um. There's little dog hoops you have to jump through. Yeah. You know? Little yeah, dog you, tunnels. You can have 30 grams on your person or fucking no one cares. It's pretty much based on just not wasting police time. It ba- It's based on did you yell at the cop? The cop is mad. Do you have 31 grams? Go to jail. Yeah, but also like people have gotten their first tickets for driving while smoking. Well, don't do that. Obviously. Fuck, man. Obviously. Bad idea. Yes. Don't. Drive under the influence. That doesn't mean alcohol. It people, means under the influence. People, people are not. People are not smart. What do you even? Do? Fucking, well, no, because <laughs> they're potheads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but yes, um, the uh, 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 it's legal here. There's shops that have opened up officially, and uh, there's four hour lines because that uh, don't get smaller so here's what happened here's why well, that they're is. sold out now so I, I, yeah so I, I took a look at good. why that happened and the reason why is because the federal government says enjoy your weed everybody hey provincials but figure out how to do it and the provinces yeah. go yeah. and so and, and, and the new government here is like we're gonna change a bunch of shit about what just happened yeah they're gonna sw- they're gonna swap it up from 19 to 21 and yep. they're gonna make it so that you can't smoke in public places yep um, and they also and the, the thing but there's no like Montreal but there's didn't no care about that before they're not gonna care about it now <laughs> yeah well this, and the thing is that it's not like in, like in Amsterdam for example there's like weed bars basically yeah. Yeah. there's like cafes it, and like here if you, you're not gonna have that so it's basically gonna say like there are, oh, those already exist there's kindergarten those, but they're but those legal, uh, ra- with s- sanctioned yeah. versions of those things right yeah. head shops are all around town absolutely yeah. but and, uh, yeah, sorry. After you. No, no, no. I was just going to say that, like, um, and, like, so they're going to do that, and then it's pretty much going to be, like, oh, only in your own home. But, again, like, with all these doggy hoops and whatnot, it's ultimately based on the idea that we're not wasting police time. Just don't fuck around. Just, yeah. don't, just don't be an asshole yeah. about it. Essentially. Uh, the reason why the retail situation is so fucking bad is that when uh, the provincial government added in all the goofy little rules... So a lot of those rules are to keep the weed re- away from the children. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, which it cannot be within a certain distance of a school, which uh, depending on your when neighborhood. When didn't care about that before, they they're not going to care about it which, now. Which is extra, <laughs> is, it's extra ironic considering there's a uh, dep selling booze on every single corner in the entire corner. city. That's, the, that's always the question, right? <laughs> I it's bought like if, some yesterday. It, it, it's like if. Yeah, the the idea of it, and any time like the the the, the moral aspect of yeah. it comes up, it's like, how do you feel about so, alcohol? So how like, do you feel about cigarettes? There are four weed stores in the city. There's one that's really open. One's downtown. That's the one we fucking walk by because mm. that one is the nightmare. Yeah. But the other three are all pretty close to you know downtown. So if you live in the fucking north or east side or the West Island, get fucked. Get fucked. Now that's bad, right? But it's not as bad as Ontarians. They don't have a single retail weed location in the province. You can only order your weed online. Which you would hate. Well, I love ordering things online. That's what I mean. But it's but think I mean, already your packages get lost. 
Yeah, and you don't want that package to like I don't know someone take a look in that. Yeah, like oh look, it's got the thing on the on the thing that says "Big Weeds Don't <laughs> yeah, Steal." Yeah, 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 pretty much I right. No motherfuckers are gonna be drop ki- Motherfuckers are gonna be drop kicking mailboxes, knowing yeah, that real. that's a possibility. Jeez, junkies just like that's not good. That's a bad. Don't do that. Players. And if it's that if it's that government quality sticky icky icky, yeah. then it's gonna yeah. smell too. Montreal is probably <laughs> going to be uh, the recipient of a huge weed explosion, not just because of weed and because of tourism and because of festivals, but also because the Kahnawake Reserve already makes a fucking boatload on counterfeit smokes. Yeah, and they it takes time to fucking switch over, but ain't no reason why they can't just switch over to the counterfeit reefer. Once you're allowed to grow it yourself. In you're theory. allowed to grow it yourself right now. Uh, also, also, uh, even, it, even if you weren't, you, you're allowed to own four plants federally. Ah, but not, but no more. And no, no more. Left. So what? The, so then the thing is the federal, the, the provincial- but also federal government sanctions like that don't apply on the reserve. Yes. But the provincial change is trying to change that as well. Yeah. Well, I, that would still not apply on the reserve. Yeah. So yeah. okay. go down to the reserve, buy your fucking tax-free weed, <clears throat> come back into the city. Um, I mean, Frosties. Smoke it in front of a school. I'm going up to the reserve, but I'm going up there for computer parts because yeah, Frosties says the, tax-free. <laughs> the, the yeah. best part. Yeah, well, the going best for the best part. Wooly's going for computer parts. Frosties has the best prices um, on the fucking planet. You see was, Terry down there? It's crazy. Terry's was, still doing it. I oh. was in a friend's building, and then in the elevator, there was a sign that said, listen. <laughs> This might be legal, but if we are trying to do like a thing where everyone feels like, hey, yeah, everything's great here. If you get caught with this smoking in in your home, like there will be repercussions. Well, yeah. So building owners were they able totally to do that. ahead of time. Yeah. Get a, a a bylaw passed that essentially said that a building owner is allowed. To restrict usage. Yeah. So yeah. it's essentially same the, thing with smoking. So the idea of yeah, like yeah. So the idea of like um you know if 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 the update the provincial update passes that says like you can only smoke in your home yeah not if you're renting an apartment yeah which means well people are just gonna go well fuck the popo anyway no then. it means I can smoke in my home which is ironic because no one gets to smoke anything in my home I will kick you out of my fucking house. but if it's ultimately like hey you can't smoke uh publicly. And you can't smoke in the home because you don't own a Do home. Do I have to go to the sewers? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's unclear. Find your local storm drain. It's unclear what a non-homeowner under those circumstances is supposed to do. But either way, people are just going to go, well, you don't have an Alvin for me, so fuck I it. mean, back when I lived at the place two, pl- two apartments ago, my fucking next door neighbor had a fucking... You remember, he had a miasma coming out the door <laughs> of weed stink. Yeah. Nothing's I mean, gonna stop nobody. Someone needs to be holding the fucking chalice <laughs> in Crystal Chronicles to get rid of the miasma. I mean, motherfuckers are probably already, like, rolling in with their CBD oils. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You Just know, and, 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 and your, your brownies and your... Because there's a million other ways besides lighting it up. I was watching a YouTube video uh, last night, and up came a fucking minute long ad for fertilizer Mm. that had super, super high production values because it was like, hey, Canada, you want to grow good weed? Mm. Get our fertilizer. It's best for weed. It's a fucking brave new world out there. It's fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. The leaf oh. on our fucking country's <laughs> flag. Just turn green. At, this, at, at least temporarily. Just... For, for a joke. We're already there. Now. I mean, if, if IHOP can become, become IHOB, <laughs> then why can't our, our flag now. change? IHOP becoming IHOB was the It was a joke, a big joke. It was the equivalent of, uh, just thought I was feeling cute today, but might change later. Yeah, but then, like, I, but then Wendy's was like, stay in your fucking lane. lane yeah. <laughs> now, listen. To do this I'm aware that most of our viewers, or, or listeners rather, are Americans. And a good proportion of those people might live close enough to the Canadian border that they could go over and have a little drinky drink, particularly they're they're 18 or 19. Or as we call them, smoke. customers. Yes, I have a little smoky smoke, right? Don't bring weed back with you, dumbasses. I know yeah. you're high. I know you're high. And you're a pothead, so you don't make good decisions because you're high. But don't do that. The border people will probably not go, ah, ha, ha, ha. It'll eventually probably end up like Amsterdam, where it's it's like 
everyone at every like border security thing knows exactly what's happening. Yeah. And is pretty much like, okay, we expect you to be high leaving here. <laughs> But if it's on you, it's a problem. Yeah. So you know what I you know what I can see? I can see at every uh, American Canadian border crossing, there's the big old weed dumpster, <laughs> right? And they why light... not just make it a fire? Just throw no, it no, no, no. You light it on Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. rid of it. Get rid of the evidence. Burn it all Everyone kind of hangs around it for a while. Mm. And it's like you have the two lines. You have the line that goes past the weed dumpster, and you have the line that doesn't. And then people are willing to 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 risk it just yeah. to get through that line faster. <laughs> it's like like don't carry any any water. Dump out your water here. Empty your weed over here. Yeah. Make everybody anyway. Um. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, <laughs> like, well, whatever. Just the car thing is like. Don't don't drive when you're. There's a lot of things you shouldn't be doing. While hey, driving. don't drive while you're drunk. Don't drive while you're high. Don't drive if you're taking any of those medicines that say don't drive. Maybe not have sex while you drive. A, either. a car is a part of, is a heavy machinery. Did you know that? Yes. It's, yes, it is. Don't drive if you are currently blinded by sand or a viper. If if Sandman attacks you, don't drive. Yes. If, or if, if Hydro Man. If a, big, if a big noise knocked out your hearing and you're like, I should drive myself to the hospital, but you're currently deaf, take a bus. These are all... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> just, that just reminded me. Did you see that tweet where it's like, it's pretty amazing when you think about it, all Spider-Man's villains are natural <laughs> predators yeah, of spiders. Funny. Like yeah. Sandman, Sandman post. a goblin <laughs> on a high Oh, yes. The, nat- <laughs> the natural enemy of the spider, the <laughs> goblin. Yes, yes. All of them. Yep. Clearly. A fishbowl. Fucking gold. Oh, that's good. Yep. 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 Um, it's going to get... Uh, the last thing was just, I was gonna say is like the fact that like Quebec is 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 weird and different is always like Quebec is always weird. And different. It's always weird and different. And if they can, like the rest of the it's have, the Nintendo of Canada, <laughs> and it's 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 gonna just be so weird when like every other province is fine and it's like no Quebec needs to stand out. So people that are like twenty yeah. that are coming over from Toronto or any other like province, America, and as soon as you cross alive. over the border, then like that that high that you are. Is is no it's longer bad. allowed? Mm. Then what do you do about? I don't that, think it's against you know? the law to be high. I think it's against the law to smoke it or eat it. Yeah, you don't know what I'm high from. So I could you be can, high on it, life. It, it's kind of like I imagine it'll be like decriminalization, where it's like it, it's it's yeah. it's a slightly yeah. different from. Um, yeah. It's not you're not legalizing it, but anyway. When are they going to legalize chair shots? Yeah, I think they are. I have I have that shirt. I know that's why I referenced it. I like it. I haven't worn it in a while though. You have not because I, I lost it. That oh okay, that's different then. What's up? Uh, sponsors. Oh yeah, forgot about them. Today this week, Please the say one podcast week. is sponsored by <laughs> Weed. <laughs> Make get sure it. Get the cleanest marijuana needles. <sighs> Whatever that fucking slurping like bong. Yeah, was. whatever. Yeah. That highly I can't, a- that I can't. highly accurate fucking <laughs> impression. I, I can't do it with my mouth. Um, 